Okay, so um, this is from the new materials we have. They are short articles. And the title for today is Seeds Not Sown Will Never Grow. A seed that is planted will sprout for sure. A seed that is not planted will not. Without a cause, there can be no result. Success in life is the fruit of effort. If someone is very successful, that is because they have made a lot of effort. If we are ignorant of the law of cause and effect and keep complaining, it will only bring up our own destruction. The law of cause and effect is always valid. Okay, very good. Yeah, I really love this title. Seeds not sown will never grow. You know, because we are made of desires, all of us, so we have many desires that are not fulfilled yet, or we have some goals and dreams in life. And if we don't know what it takes to fulfill those goals and dreams, we just feel sorry for ourselves. So the mind basically becomes idle because we don't see the mechanism that determines the kind of effects we can have by what kind of seeds to plant. If we don't see that mechanism of cause and effect, so we waste a lot of our time and energy with wishful thinking, <clears throat> having fantasies, or even being jealous of other people's success who already obtained the goal that we are hoping to have. So, but if we realize seeds not sown will never grow, that's just the truth of this universe. This law of cause and effect is always and always valid, doesn't change. If we recognize that, then all we have to do is, okay, we need to know what kind of seeds to sow to get the harvest that we desire. Because these seeds that are planted will sprout for sure. However, seed not planted, they will never sprout. There's no way we can have something without a cause. It doesn't pop up from thin air or from nothing. So success in life is the fruit of effort. The more we put in effort, if we are headed in the right direction. Yeah, some people tell me, oh, believe me, I've been putting so much effort, but still I'm not successful. Well, maybe we need to examine the direction where you were headed. The direction has to be correct. Uh, Buddha calls it the right uh, goal, uh, right purpose, right intention. Are we headed in the right direction? Do we have the right intentions or not? Uh, you know, for example, if we only want to make profit at the expense of others, that's not the right direction, obviously. So any success we gain will be short-lived. So it says if someone is very successful, that's because they have made a lot of effort. Uh, this is written by a Japanese author. So I think in Japan, yeah, there is still a lot of... Uh, like there are some fraudulent activities and things like that, but it's no comparison. Like in terms of scale, it's much, much, much smaller than what we see in we see here. So um, yeah, because I think some people might find a little objection with this statement. Uh, someone might be very successful, not necessarily because they made a lot of effort, but maybe they inherited it, all the wealth from their parents. And in Buddhism, to be born to those parents, that has something to do with that person's karma. So in a sense, they planted those seeds in the past. However, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, if you listen to the news or yeah, podcast, you learn about the life of these people who are very successful, like Warren Buffett. 
you know, I read some article about him while I was on the airplane that said he was reading books on economy since he was like seven or eight years old, something like that. <laughs> yeah, reading book after book after book and, you know, just believing in the law of cause and effect. And gradually he was able to figure out how economy works and what investments are the most effective for, um, for his money. So if we are ignorant of the law of cause and effect and keep complaining, see, this is not good. Many people complain, right, all the time because they don't see the cause and effect relationship at all. They just don't see that. When did I plant such seeds? So they keep complaining uh, why this is happening this way or that way. And that actually brings our own destruction. It brings a lot of uh, physical ailments, headaches, stomach aches, things like that, because it's not good for us. When we complain, there is some element of anger or rage or frustration, and that releases toxins in the body, so that's not good for us. So we need to uh, listen to the Dharma. If we don't listen, we don't realize that this law of cause and effect is always valid. We don't have a strong foundation in this reality. So we go back to our old habit of complaining. So listening to Buddhism like we're doing right now and uh, recitation, meditation to contemplate on these truths. Little by little, we get the insights that make us realize I need to be making effort every day to build a very bright and joyful future. And if each one of us becomes joyful, this whole world becomes very bright and joyful as well. Yeah, so good job for being here, practicing together. And have a wonderful Thursday, everyone. Bye.